Hey everybody, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another video. Got something a little bit different. Today I'm gonna to be going over my wish list for 2019. So these are all going to be fragrances that at some point I do wanna pick up full bottles of uh, just throughout the whole year. This is just what I could come up with off the top of my head, what I've been looking at recently. Uh, some of these I have sampled in advance. Uh, some of these I haven't sampled yet. They might be a blind buy. I may get a sample of them, who knows. Uh, but it's kind of you know a mix in between stuff that I've tried and that I wanna actually pick up a bottle of and stuff that I haven't tried yet, but I kind of know I'm going to like it and I just will blind buy it anyway. So let's go and get this started. I have this organized by Fragrance House. So we're gonna start off with the first one, Nasomato. So the first fragrance I have from them is Baranda. Obviously, as you can see, I have tried this one. This one has whiskey, ambrette, and woodsy notes. The whiskey in this is very, very strong. I've talked about it before. It almost smells like you've just taken some whiskey, you put it on your skin and you're smelling it. Um, it's definitely very strong. Nothing like in CH Men Privé, how it's toned down a little bit. This one is pretty much straight up whiskey right in the opening and it's still pretty prominent in the dry down. So obviously a very boozy scent. It's not gonna be for everyone, but I really enjoy it a lot. This stuff is also very strong, so that's always a good thing since they do come in a 30 ml extract bottle. Um, it may not sound like a lot, but again, it is an extract, it's very strong. And that 30 mils is probably about all you're going to need. The next one from them, I have Pardon. This one has oud, chocolate, and sandalwood. It's a very, very masculine scent. Um, it smells fantastic. Um, again, this is another one. Do want to pick up a bottle of, have the sample of it right here. Really like it a whole lot. Next one up, this one's called New Florium, New Florum, New Florium. I don't know, all I know is it's a new one, just recently came out. I don't know the notes on this one either since they don't release notes. Um, there's nothing on Fragrantica about it right now. I haven't personally smelled it yet, so this is something that would be potentially a blind buy. But from what I know on looking at Lucky Scent, I think it's supposed to be kind of floral and fresh, maybe a little bit citrusy as well. Again, I don't know any notes. I haven't smelled it, so I can't really tell you much on that one. And finally, the last one from Nasamato, we have Black Afghano. I have smelled this one, but I'm not sure where my sample was or is. Um, it was a while ago when I got that. But that one has notes of oud, incense, and cannabis. Uh, it smells fantastic. Again, just like all of these, very, very strong stuff. And it's one that I do want to pick up at some point. Uh, Baranda is at the top of the list in terms of which one I want to get first. I'm hoping to pick that one up here soon, before winter is over, because that's when it would be best suited for. Probably not going to get much use out of it at all during the summer. Uh, so I want to try to get it while I can. All right, next up we have Roja Parfums. I've got a couple Roja fragrances. Well, um, both Elysium, so I got two of them, but it's really the same scent pretty much, except for, of course, difference in concentration. Uh, but I would like to get some more. The first one on my list is Creation E or Enigma. This one has cognac, vanilla, and tobacco. Uh, this one you'll hear a lot of people say it has like a fizzy Coca-Cola smell, and I get that 100%. Um, it, kind of threw me off when I heard people talk about that, you know, because I'd look at the notes and I, it doesn't seem like it would have that type of smell. But once I actually smelled it, um, it does have this fizzy, you know, Coca-Cola soda type of smell. Uh, and I really enjoy this one a whole lot. I was kind of unsure about it at first. I'm like, would I really want to spend the money on this? But now that I've really smelled the sample more, uh, it's one that I definitely want to pick up. The next one from Roja is A Midsummer Dream. So this one I have not personally smelled. Uh, but looking at the notes, I know it's one that I'm really going to enjoy. It has elemi, benzoin, and grapefruit. It just looks like a really fantastic scent. Um, I really like the name. I really like the look of the bottle. Overall, it looks great. I heard great reviews on it. A lot of people who've tried it have really, really loved it. So that's one I do want to pick up at some point. I'm probably going to just blind buy it. We'll see, depending on if I can get a good deal on it or not. I'm probably going to wait closer to spring and summer for that one, because that's when that one is more suited for. Uh, but that one's definitely on my list. And the last one is Bergamot. So Roja Parfums Bergamot. That one's got obviously Bergamot, White Flowers, and Lemon, just to name a few notes. Um, obviously the main note there, the main player being Bergamot. Um, looks fantastic. Again, I've heard great reviews on it. So that's one that I do want to pick up at some point. Again, obviously going to be probably in the summertime if I do end up getting it. I wouldn't get much use out of it right now. So up next we have the House of Amouage. I just recently picked up a couple of them, um, Reflection Man and Jubilation, which I both have reviewed on my channel already. Um, I was going to pick up more, 
Uh, but then I started, you know, buying some other stuff outside of fragrances and I kind of put that off. I was hoping to complete that collection pretty quickly because on wash fragrances generally can be found for really good prices online, like, you know, 150 bucks for 100 ml bottles, which is really solid for niche. So I was planning on, you know, trying to complete that collection relatively quickly, uh, but other stuff got in the way. But with that being said, I do have four of them that I do really want to pick up, starting with the first one, and that is Bracken Man. So I have a sample of that one. I have tried it. It's somewhere over there. I don't really feel like digging it up. But out of all of them that is on this list, Bracken Man is the one at the top that I want to pick up. Uh, that one smells fantastic. That one's got cloves, cypress, and patchouli. Uh, it's a very masculine, woody, fougere scent. Um, not going to be for everyone, uh, but for me personally, I absolutely love it. Um, and that's on the top of my list to get right now from Amwash. Up next we have Sunshine Man. Again, that's another one I've smelled. My sample is somewhere over there. That one's got lavender, tonka bean, and brandy to name a few of the notes. Uh, that one's very interesting. That is kind of almost a summer gourmand type of scent. And it's weird because when you hear the notes like tonka bean, brandy, there's some other sweeter notes in there as well. You wouldn't think it would be much of a summer fragrance, but it really does have this you know, light uh, spring and summer type of feel. Uh, so it is interesting in that aspect. So that one I probably will be waiting uh, when it gets a little bit warmer because that's when I would most likely wear it more. Uh, but like I said, it is definitely on the list. Have a sample of it and I really enjoy it a lot. Up next we have Beach Hut Man. I just did a review on that one a few days ago. You can check out that review if you want to know more about it. Uh, so of course I have smelled it. That one's on my list as well. It's a fantastic scent for summer. Uh, it's really grown on me a lot. Um, like I said in the review when I first smelled it, I was kind of, you know, iffy on it. I wasn't really a huge fan, but now I really enjoy it a lot. So I will be waiting a little bit closer to summer or spring to get that one, uh, but it is definitely on the list. And last up from Amouage, we have Beloved Man. So that one has Elemi, Grapefruit, and Cedar, just to name a couple notes. Uh, that one looks pretty good as well. It looks a little bit more wearable, at least in terms of a lot of the other Amouage fragrances out there. Uh, most of the ones I have on this list here are very wearable. This one does look pretty wearable as well. Um, I haven't tried this one, so you know that's gonna, <clears throat> voice crack. I haven't tried that one, so that's going to be a blind buy for me, uh, but I'm pretty confident that I'm going to like it. Up next, we have the House of Royal Crown. I only have one from this house on this list, and that's because I've only tried one of them, and I'm really not too comfortable with doing many blind buys from this house because they are pretty expensive. Uh, the only one I have on this list is Celebration. So that one has orange, iris, mint, and some other citruses in it. Um, smells fantastic. I did get a sample of it a while back. Um, it's very nice. It almost has this like cough drop, cough syrup quality type of smell, which threw me off in the beginning. Uh, but after I kept wearing the sample, I really started to come around to it. And I'm a pretty big fan of it now. So obviously judging by the notes, that's gonna be more of a spring and summer fragrance. So if I do pick this one up, it's probably gonna be sometime in the spring or summer. I'm not saying 100% if I'm going to or not. I'm still kind of tossing around the idea. It is very expensive, like I said and I want to spend some more time testing it. Um, there's a lot of other ones, other fragrances out there, you know, just in general that I would probably get before that one, but it is still on the list. Um, it's up for consideration. Up next, we have the house of Carner Barcelona. So as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Elborn. That fragrance has jumped up really high in terms of, you know, just my favorite scents and favorite fragrances in general. Um, that came almost out of nowhere. I mean, I got a sample of it uh, sometime this summer really wore that sample a lot, really enjoyed it a lot, finally got myself a bottle. Um, like I said, I absolutely love this stuff. And now I'm really intrigued to try some other fragrances from the house. The first fragrance being Palo Santo. That one has milk, vanilla, and tonka bean. So it sounds interesting for sure. Um, a very sweet gourmand type of fragrance. I'm, you know, I'm assuming going by the notes. I haven't smelled this one. I haven't smelled any of them from Carner Barcelona other than Elborn. So these will all be blind buys. But this one does sound really good. Obviously, sounds like it's going to be more of a colder weather scent. Um, I'm not in too much of a hurry to pick it up. I mean, I might if I find a good deal on it. it might not happen this winter. We'll see. Um, if anything, if I find a good deal on it in the summer or something, I'll still probably pick it up. I just won't wear it as much. Up next, we have D600. That one has vanilla, iris, and cardamom. Again, sounds like a very sweet fragrance. I'm a little bit spicy as well, I'm assuming, from the cardamom. That stuff sounds like it's going to be really good. 
Um, again, same thing with Palo Santo. Not sure if I'm in too much of a hurry to pick it up right now. I'm gonna wait later on. Uh, there's other stuff I wanna get before those. Uh, but it is still on the list. And the last one from them is Costarella. That one has bergamot, C notes, and ambroxan. So this one really caught my eye because it sounds a little bit more like a freshy. Uh, sounds like more of an aquatic marine scent. Um, and I didn't really know that Elborn had any of those. So that one, definitely on the list. That one's probably at the top right now. I'll probably be picking that up for spring and summer um, here at some point um, soon-ish, depending on if I find a good deal on it. Again, not in a huge hurry, but if I do see it somewhere, I probably will grab it. Again, I haven't tried any of these, so this these will all be blind buys for me unless I get a sample in the meantime, uh, but I am pretty confident that I'm going to like um, all of these. Also, I just wanna jump in here and say real quick, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, go ahead and do that right now. There's gonna be a link down below. We do splits, sales, discussions, giveaways, whole bunch of stuff. Um, it's a great community of people. Highly recommend that if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, you go hit that link and do so now. I'm aware not everyone has a Facebook, so um, if you don't, that's fine, and I'm not gonna hate you if you don't join, uh, but you could maybe consider creating an account just to join the Facebook group. Not even necessarily just my Facebook group, although I do recommend you do it, uh, but just the other ones in general. Uh, they're all great places to you know buy fragrances at great prices, uh, used fragrances and things like that, and just you know be able to discuss with people and uh, things like that. And honestly, the uh, Facebook groups have changed the way that I have been able to purchase fragrances. I've gotten so many good deals in them. I've gotten a lot of great advice in them. And honestly, without the Facebook groups, my collection wouldn't be where it is today. I don't think the channel will be where it is today. So they've really helped me out a lot. So I'm just trying to kind of promote mine uh, to help you guys as well. Again, it's gonna be in the link down below. Highly recommend you go check it out. Now let's go and jump back into the video. Up next, we have the house of By Killian. Uh, so let's go ahead and crack into it. And then we only have one more house after this. Uh, so we're almost through this. Uh, first one is Apple Brandy. So I have tried this one. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this one, this is at the top of my list if I had to choose right now. Um, I haven't sampled all of the ones that I have on this list. Um, I've sampled two of them, I've got four here. Uh, but still, this one, it's on the top. This stuff is fantastic. So notes on this one, this one has oak, vanilla, and labdanum, or labdanum, however you wanna say it. Uh, again, it smells fantastic. It's got this like boozy apple type of smell. Uh, honestly, when I smell it, I think of fall. Like that's really just about it. It just reminds me of the fall time, fall season. Uh, smells absolutely fantastic. So it is gonna be more probably of a cooler weather leaning scent. Um, again, I'm probably not in the biggest hurry to pick this up right now. Uh, same with all of the Killians because they are very expensive. They're you know right up there on my price line right now. Um, I want to get them at some point. Um, it's just a matter of when. So like I said, I'm not in a huge hurry to pick them up. At some point though, I probably will dive into them. Up next, I have single malt. So I have not tried this one. So this one will be most likely a blind buy. I might get a sample of it uh, depending on what goes on. This one has plum, wheat, and tolu balsam. Sounds really good. I've heard a lot of great things about it, so I am looking forward to eventually trying that one. Up next, we have Back to Black. Got this one right here. So this one has honey, tobacco, and cherry. Definitely a very sweet scent. Um, smells absolutely fantastic. Awesome stuff. Again, more of a fall and winter scent, a colder weather scent. Not in a huge hurry to pick it up right now, so it's probably gonna be sometime later on, uh, but it is still on my list to grab. And the last one is Vodka on the Rocks. So this one has coriander, rhubarb, and ambroxan. Again, I haven't tried this one personally, so just kind of going off the notes, it looks like something that I'm going to like, so I am looking forward to trying it at some point. Also, I just wanna mention this now before people you know, get angry that I'm talking about doing all this blind buying. Like I say in all my videos, I'm not saying that blind buying is a good idea because I know I've had it happen before where people have said that they blind bought something based on my recommendation and they hated it and then they got mad at me. So full disclosure, I'm not saying that you should blind buy fragrances, always sample first. And like I said, in a lot of these cases, I have tried these, uh, but I also kind of know what my tastes are at this point to where I can look at the notes and you know get a feel if I'm gonna like the scent. And like I've said before, I shop smart. So if I end up buying something on a blind buy and I don't like it, I'll be able to sell it and make most of my money back. Might be able to make a little profit, but if not, I might lose maybe five or 10 bucks for shipping. Uh, but no matter what, I know that if I don't like it, 
I'll be able to sell it again and be okay. So again, I'm just throwing that in there before a bunch of people get triggered and say, oh, blind buying is stupid. Again, I'm just throwing that in there before a bunch of people get like triggered in the comments. I'm not saying I condone that you blind buy stuff. That's just what I do and you know, I haven't been burned yet. Um, at this point, I know what I like in fragrances and I'm able to tell that uh, when I look at the notes. So let's go and jump back into the list. The last house I'm gonna be covering today is Francis Kirkjohn. The first one is Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. So I do have a sample of that one. Um, again, it's over there somewhere. I don't feel like trying to find it. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the EDP. Absolutely love that stuff. It's in my top three niche if I had to pick. Easily, uh, stuff is fantastic. Um, and the Extrait is very good as well. I only have a very small sample of it, so you know I've used it sparingly. If I had to choose which one I like better, honestly, it's hard because I love them both. But the Extrait has this nice almond note. It's a little bit bitter, but not too much, but it just adds this nice uh, nutty quality to it. And what I like about it is it's a little bit less transparent than the EDP. The EDP of Baccarat Rouge 540 is very transparent. It's very light, it's very airy. Um, and it's weird because that stuff is extremely strong on my skin. But like I said, at the same time, it's got this very transparent quality. And at times it can be a little bit hard to smell. But the straight, again, it has that almond and it just overall smells a little bit thicker, has a little bit more, almost a little bit more depth and it's um, still it's still transparent, don't get me wrong, but not quite as much as the EDP, and I really like it for that. So that one is on the list. Um, whether or not I'm gonna actually end up getting it sometime soon, probably not, um, just because again, I do have the EDP, I've got a, you know, a decent amount of it. The extrait is very expensive, so that's kind of something where if I find maybe a really good deal on it, then maybe I'll pick it up. Uh, but it's definitely not something that I'm you know, itching to get right now uh, because the EDP, I have it and it works great for me. The next one is Oud Satin Mood. So I do have a sample of that one somewhere around here, have smelled it and it smells great. So that one's got rose, vanilla and Oud of course. Um, again, smells fantastic, extremely strong stuff. I did like one small spray from the MFK sample uh, thing that I have. It's just very strong. So. Um, that's one where I'll probably end up buying a partial bottle of it, maybe like a 30 mil partial, maybe even less than that, and that would be plenty uh, because that stuff is so, so strong that you'd only need like one spray and that 20 or 30 mils would last me a lifetime. So definitely not looking to necessarily get a full bottle. If I do, I'll probably split a bunch of it, uh, but a little bit is definitely going to go a long way with that one. And the last one we have on this list is Aqua Universalis or Aqua Universalis however you want to say it. That one's got Lily of the Valley, Bergamot, Lemon, and Musk to name a few of the notes. That one's a very light fragrance. Um, I haven't sm smelled this by the way, but I have heard great things about it. Um, I heard that Francis Kirkjohn himself uses the, I think it's laundry detergent scent of that to wash his clothes. So he, there's a laundry detergent um, version of Aqua Universalis. Uh, which is, I didn't know, but I guess there is, and I guess he uses that to wash his clothes. So that kind of gives you an idea of how it's gonna smell, very clean and very fresh, uh, citrusy. So do wanna get that one at some point. That's probably at the top of the list just because it's the cheapest right now. You can get one of the big size 200 mil bottles for like a little bit less than 200 bucks. So that would be a really good deal. That would be a great one to have in the spring and summer. So guys, that is it. That is my wish list for 2019. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, like I said, um, I'm not going to buy all of these at once. I don't have that type of money, uh, but this is stuff that I'm going to be kind of picking at throughout the year. Uh, just whatever I can find a good deal on, I'll end up getting. Uh, so it's not necessarily in any type of order. And again, I'm not saying that you know blind buying is the answer and that you should be doing that. I'm just saying that for me personally, you know, I know what I look for in fragrances and I'm smart about it. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you think of it down below. Um, also, let me know what you guys wanna end up picking up here soon um, in 2019. Be curious to know what's on your guys' wish list, uh, what you've been, you know, sampling and smelling or what's on your radar. And maybe I'll be able to kind of get some inspiration from that as well. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. And that's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.